Hey there, guys, I'm John Campia. This is the Movie Feed, where we get you caught up in just a couple of minutes of all the important things going on in the world of movie news. Let's get started with this. It's been announced that actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt is replacing equally impressive actor Paul Dano as the co-pilot in an upcoming independent airline hijacking film, 7500. The film is being written and directed by Patrick Volrath, who received an Oscar nomination in 2015 for his short film, Everything Will Be Okay. The movie follows an airline hijacking as desperate fear of the unknown undermines both hijacker and pilot. So I'm guessing there's some sort of supernatural element to it. Joseph Gordon-Levitt can currently be seen on the Amazon show Comrade Detective and lends his voice to an unknown digital character in the upcoming Star Wars The Last Jedi. The upcoming Steven Spielberg-directed film The Post, which is sure to get an awful lot of attention at the upcoming Oscars, has just released their first official image, starring Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep and Alison Brie, among others, The Post tells the true story behind the release of the Pentagon Papers in the 1970s, at which point the Nixon White House fought to prevent the Washington Post from publishing these internal memos. The case went all the way to the Supreme Court, where the fight was quite literally surrounding the First Amendment and the freedom of the press. The Post gets a limited release on December 22nd, just in time to qualify it for the Oscars, with a nationwide release on January 12th. Lionsgate has just secured the UK distribution rights for the upcoming documentary narrated by Michael Caine called My Generation. The film is about the 1960s and includes contributions from Paul McCartney, Roger Daltrey, Marianne Faithfull, and David Bailey. The doc uses clips and music from the era to tell the story of the decade and the cultural revolution that took place. Following the massive box office success of It, it's no surprise that Paramount is now officially moving forward with their Stephen King adapted remake of Pet Cemetery. The studio's taken their first major steps by hiring Kevin Kolsch and Dennis Widemeyer, directors of the freaky little 2014 film Starry Eyes, to helm the new project. The story of Pet Cemetery follows a family who moves into a new home next to a cemetery that has the powers to bring back creatures from the dead that are buried there. No thanks. The success or failure of Warner Brothers' DC Cinematic Universe up to this point is the topic of a lot of online debate, and now Superman himself, Henry Cavill, is weighing into the discussion, suggesting that DC's approach up to this point may not really have worked. In a recent statement, Cavill said the following, Even if Marvel didn't exist, we'd struggle. There was a style they, DC, were going for, an attempt to be different and look at things from a slightly different perspective, which hasn't necessarily worked. Yes, it has made money, but it has not been a critical success. It hasn't given everyone that sensation which superheroes should give the viewer. However, after that, Henry Cavill turned a lot more optimistic, suggesting that DC now has things heading in the right direction when he said this. I feel like now the right mistakes have been made and they haven't been pandered to, and we can start start telling the stories in the way they need to be told. It is even better to come back from a mistake or stylistic error into the correct vein because it will make it seem that much stronger. Wonder Woman was the first step in the right direction. So what do you think of Henry Cavill's comments? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? Jump down to the comments and leave your thoughts on that or any of the topics we just discussed here today. That'll do it for the movie news feed for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Leave your thoughts, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and until the next video, Bye-bye.